died on me. Jeff, how look? Sounds good. I, I, you know, I found the key to my old bike when I was looking for that one just now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we bought a new bike. New to me, at least. Died on me. Just died. And pushing me. Let's go. You sure? Yep. Hold on. Try it now. I also can't find neutral. I need to learn where neutral is because I don't know what gear I'm in. Is it okay? Is it, is it running okay though, gas-wise? Yeah. Okay. But I don't, I don't know what first is. I think I took off on fourth there. It's not really bad for a maiden voyage. GoPro still going, surprise it is. I got it now. I got this. Woo! Had a little scare there. I think uh, the guy set off the fuel to the wrong spot. How's it going, Grandpa? It's going great. I got it now. You look, you look about 90 on that bike. Huh? You look yeah. like 90 years old on that bike. You fucking Grandpa, keep it alive. <laughs> nah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked for you. Bye.
Yeah. I was like, did I just buy a lemon, dude? It just died. I knew it was immediately, that's why I hopped out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, well, you said it. If it dies, we know it's the petcock. So we had it off. Twenty-seven hundred bucks. I can't. Stolen. Yeah. Oh, so I was looking online, like I always do, for good deals, and um, I came across this motorcycle, and it was listed for three thousand dollars. So I was like, whoa, there's got to be something wrong with it. So I started reading the description. And uh, it says it's a 2005 Yamaha V-Star 1100 cc's and um, it didn't say that there was something wrong with it so I got interested right away and I just messaged the lady and I told her what is your number I'm really interested and luckily for me she replied right away so I got a phone number, I made a phone call, I hopped on my R6 and I went to check it out immediately because deals like this don't really last for a long time. So uh, I get there and I start checking out the bike and I gave the guy my motorcycle driver's license and uh, he let me take it for a test drive. So um, that was really nice of him. And oh, and one more thing, 5,800 miles on this motorcycle, and it's an 05. Did, did they, they literally never rode this bike. So something else I found out is that the previous owner of this bike, he was a motorcycle cop, and he retired like 15 years ago, and that's roughly when he bought this. So uh, that's pretty cool because that means that the guy knows how to ride. You know, they give him extensive training. I'm pretty sure more than any civilian would ever get, even at those motorcycle courses. And um, so, yeah, he obviously he never dropped the bike and he bought it from his friend. So he's the second owner. I would be the third. And the first owner only had the bike for from 2005 when he bought a brand new until 2006. And that's when the last owner bought it. Uh, the first owner, I think he, he put like uh, 3000 miles on it in one year and the second owner put 2,000 miles 2,800 miles in 14 years yeah that is yeah anyway so yeah uh, I think I got really lucky the, the bike has been inside a garage its entire life it's never seen the Sun uh, it hasn't been ridden in the last two years and right before the guy was trying to sell it he wanted to start it and the bike would run like crap so literally that morning that I went to see it, he got it back from the shop. The bike has had the carburetors cleaned and gone through, which is awesome because that's something I could do, but I don't have to do. Uh, and also, uh, well, since it's a V-twin, it does have dual carburetors. And when you clean those, it's not the same as a single carburetor. When it has dual carburetors, you have to sync them together. So that they basically put out the same amount of gas in each one of the cylinders. So that both cylinders run equal. Uh, which you can tell because it idles perfectly. As you can hear. And uh, it runs good. So good. So I really hope I can make quick business of picking up these boots because that rain seems like it's gonna come and bite me in the butt. But yeah guys, I think I lucked out. Oh, and the best part, I paid $2,700 for this. So it looks like I got lucky and I managed to get back home dry because I'm pretty darn sure it's going to start raining at any minute now. 
But yeah, guys, that's a little bit of a ride of this bike. I might make some more videos on it. I might make a video of my dad's first ride. We're probably gonna go on on a couple cool rides before the summer is over here. Me on my R6 and my dad riding this. Um, like I said, luckily I got it registered in a timely manner. I think in two days since I bought it, I got it registered. So that's great. It's got a plate in the back. It's fully insured. And uh, now it's just time to enjoy it. And that's what I've been doing. I rode both bikes today. So that's, that's a good day. Uh, but it looks like I won't be able to ride anymore for the rest of the day. It's getting nasty out there. But anyhow, if you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, leave a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Let me know if you think I got a good deal. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for coming along on this little test ride. See you later. Man.